and go. All right, so you have your wig head, mm -hmm. your green deflected wig head, and you have your head mold. Notice it is going to be a lot bigger than your head. This is why we're making these. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your hairline set up and you're gonna start taping it to the wig head. You're not going to tape it all the way around though because you're going to want a place to stuff from because it's obviously not going to work so well if it folds in because there's extra space in there, you know? So put a couple of pieces, put a couple of pieces of tape to hold it in place while we Stuff. And then after that, we will seal it up and then we'll be done. So it's almost over, guys. Almost over. Okay, so that should be good for now. So notice you got the big hole back here. This is where you're going to add your stuffing. For stuffing, um, you can use cotton or something expensive like that. What I always use is just the Easter grass. You can also get this like party stuff, gift shredding. It's really cheap, especially if you go right after Easter and get it. It does kind of make a mess though, so be prepared for some cleanup. Especially if you have cats like I do who is eyeballing what just fell on the floor. And you just stuff it in there. Once you get it in, you can use a rat tail comb and slide it around to the front. And you get a little bit more. Because you don't want it to just be one bowl, because you shouldn't be just doing ponytails under your wig anymore now that you know how to bend curl. And it should fit a lot better and not have any kind of lumps or anything in it. So you don't want any lumps on this, otherwise it's going to fit the wig too along. So just kind of force it around. And make sure you get it nice and plump because it's better to have it too big than too small. If it's too small, it's not going to fit your head no matter what you do. And if it's too big, you can always pin it so that it stays and it'll still be full. If you've added your extensions and whatnot accordingly, which we'll cover in another tutorial later. So then to seal it off, it's just the same as attaching it in the first place. You just take a couple of pieces of tape, try and kind of tuck the, the extras in there. Um, usually what I do when I'm done with mine is I'll go back and I'll trim them up a little bit with some scissors. It's by no means an exact science, so just kind of play with it. And just make sure that it's stuck on there. The, uh, the right way and not going to slide around because the other thing you don't want is a lopsided wig when you're working on ponytails. Um, I also do these for shortcut wigs, not just big styles. Um, when you're doing a short wig that's a different color than your natural hair color, you don't want your real hair color to show and you don't want the style to be so short that it, you know, it pulls up. But just make sure it's on there really good. And presto, you have made the wig head match your head. <laughs>